So uh, let's go over Mr. Klein. Let's do Mr. Klein. Yeah, and let's, sorry, we, I know I kind of took us off at first cow. So with Mr. Klein, let's talk about the summary. Do you want to try and summarize it? Yeah, yeah. I'll do Generally, this. Generally, I'm better at it, but I like letting you give it a try. Let me, give, give me a shot here. So Mr. Klein came out in 1976. It's a French film. It stars Elaine Delon. I don't remember who the director is. And Elaine Delon is... Mr. Klein. And so he, the film opens with him in his apartment. He's an art dealer. He gets a letter. For, he gets a, the Jewish Times paper. And he's yes. like, Yes, what year is it, Theo, in the film? Oh, um, it's 1940 something. 42. 42. It's 1942 is when the film is taking place. And that's very key. <laughs> it's important. Um, it's important and he's getting the Jewish times and he's like, I'm not, you know, I'm not Jewish or he, I don't know if he says that, but he says, you know, this isn't for me. I don't subscribe to this. And so the movie, the rest of the movie is basically our Mr. Klein, Elaine Delon, trying to not get this paper and he keeps getting this correspondence for a different Mr. Klein who's Jewish. And it's kind of about our Mr. Klein not wanting to be associated with that and trying to get rid of that. And at a certain point, probably it was about maybe like a third of the way in or a half of the way in. I was like, oh, this movie isn't really happening in reality. This is like a very dreamlike thing. Um, and so the movie is less focused on like the, the plot and the logistics of that. I mean, there's a ton there. Like it is a very, there's a lot of plot actually for this movie, but it's really more in, in, in your brain, thinky, thoughtsy right. place. And I should say as a part of this, I saw this in theaters last year i think before the world went weird and i saw it by myself it was just it came through it i said there was a trailer for it it's one of these it was restored i think and so the lemley usually has has deals with these smaller people these companies that restore these old movies and they usually throw them in the theater for a week or two you didn't want to see it because it had holocaust stuff going on in the trailer and it's kind of and it's definitely an important part of the movie. It's just right. not like the main part of the movie. Yeah. And so I went to see it by myself and I, it's been in my head since I saw it and I really liked it. And then I put it on the list for you to watch, but it was not available anywhere. You couldn't find it. And it finally is on the Criterion for now. Um, I don't know when this video is going up. Maybe it'll still be on the Criterion when this goes up. And I wanted you to see it because it's just very much a Sarah movie in some ways. And then you saw it. So it's actually been a while since I saw it, but. Yes, and I think the one, I mean, 1942, it is France occupied by Germany, which is, I feel like we don't, but I do tend to avoid these films, but we get a lot of like Poland. We get a lot of like um, certain. I feel like I've, I can't think of names, but I know that I, they're, they're out there, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it made me think a lot of Kafka's The Trial, and I think I've talked about Kafka here before. I hated Kafka, and I could not stop thinking about him after I read his book, so finally I had to admit that I liked Kafka. Um, the, 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 Kafka's very frustrating, because it's, it's, you know, um, what is it, Zeno's, Zeno's rule, it's that thing where like, if you keep going halfway to where you're going, you're never going to get there. Like you'll yeah. just, you know, eventually you'll split an atom or something. Yeah. Um, it's Zeno's paradox, but that's what like, that's what a, um, Kafka feels like to me, where it's like, you're, you're just never going to get there. You're never going to get there. But in, in, in the trial, and it's been ages since I read the trial, but Basically, everything would have been fine if he just left it alone. Like, he gets, like, yeah. something telling him he has to show up for this thing he doesn't know anything about. So if he just hadn't shown up, he'd been fine. And that's kind of Mr. Klein. If he just had been like, huh, what's this, and thrown it away, he yeah. would have been fine. But that's where I start to see, like, like these, these kind of dreamy movies where you can't really get answers and stuff are definitely like Sarah, you know, I like the woman going crazy movies, like they're yeah. Sarah anxiety film. Yeah. And, and the other thing, you know, besides Kafka's The Trial that it reminded me of is like when you have a scab and if you just let it alone, it would heal and fall off. But instead you pick and pick and pick and then you pull it off, it bleeds a bunch and you get a scar. Because yeah. again, 
if he just left it alone. Instead, he ends up going on this weird, like, and everyone around, there are so many places where he would he have, have been stopped. Yeah. yeah. And I like that. I mean, of course, I like the idea that we're, we're in charge of our own destiny, which I don't, you know, I think is partially true. I'm not that much of a nihilist, but, <laughs> you know, um, so there's something pleasing about the idea. Of, and, and I see, I know, you know, we see a lot of people be self-destructive and, and it's that kind of a story. But it's also, it was just interesting the way he couldn't ever get an outline of, of who he, there were, there seemed to be two other Robert Kleins. One was going to this estate with this wealthy woman he was having an affair with. And the other was in this weird, I'm not even building. sure. I'm not even sure that they were separate people. Well, that's the thing. There's no, you never know. Like there's a moment where he might have seen him and he, and he doesn't, you know. Yeah. And, and at the end, he's, he basically walks into the camps because he's to the... Well, and it's, it's definitely a movie. France's relationship with the Jewish culture, with Jewish culture is really complicated. And I certainly don't have any way of, I can't even make it. I can't yeah. even bring it to a place where I like make a statement and it's interesting or, or, or means anything. Right. Like I can't, what's it called? I can't uh, narrow it down. Tri triangulate. I yeah. don't know. I can't, I can't get, I can't even make it simple enough to make sense of it. So this movie is, is interesting to me because it's dealing with a part of, like it's a French film by, by a Frenchman as far as I know, starring up French people. That's about the Jewish culture. And it feels like, there's something there that I don't know. Like there's a lot of stuff lost in translation there because France has a, a weird anti-Semitic past. Mm -hmm. And like a I, lot of Europe. Like a lot of Europe. It's just, I, maybe I just know more about France or something. I think there's more, I think in modern day, there's still anti-Semitic weirdness in France. Oh yeah, no, there's still, and it still goes yeah. on. I, I'm a little more familiar with England because of what went on in Israel. And even then I, I can't talk too intelligently yeah. about it. But there's something, but a part of what Mr. Klein, I think, is, is examining, like, the way I'm reading the film, you know, because it's obviously not meant to be taken literally, even, you know, more than usual for a movie. I'm reading that, like, it's all about how French society and culture was, like, trying to, like, get disassociated with the, the Jewish culture. And by doing so, they've sort of put themselves in the camps, too, because they've made themselves bad people uh, they've made like like that's a reading that's one reading of the film interesting I yeah i hadn't thought about that and also how like by trying to distance yourself from the thing and like all you're doing is saying you're not like it's that it's i'm because we've also been doing lgbtqia movies there is the whole thing where like people who are so anti-gay often are like trying to cover up for the fact that they have affection or feelings towards yeah men. i think i think that's not not always true but it is it no, definitely it's, it's happen it's it's a, it's a stereotype and it's, it's a cliche yeah. really and yeah. like looking at this movie where like this man is saying like i'm not jewish i'm not jewish i'm not jewish like there's right. almost this aspect of like france is trying to cover up the fact that like there's right. a culture in france and like right that's you're interesting harming, I hadn't, you're harming yourself by doing that i hadn't read it that way i like that reading so it's just i don't have a ton to say about it because it is something i don't know enough about and i've kind of said I don't want to go any farther because I don't want to be stupid. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I agree. I so mean, like, it's interesting. You you went allegorical and I went existential, which is fine. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you know, they, 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 they touch each other, the existential and allegorical. Yeah. It's also like, anyways, I, I, it's, I don't usually It's really care good. To, it's really good. I don't usually care to like, I don't, we don't rate things here and we don't talk about that. And I don't even recommend things or not because it's like people are going to watch what they want. We're not, yeah. being, we're not being paid for this, no one is telling us what to do. This is a movie I genuinely want more people to see. Like I want yeah. my, my, the people I listen to on podcasts to talk about Mr. Klein because it's just such, it ha it's just, it has a thing in my brain. Anyways, that's what I got for Mr. Klein. Have you seen, I'm just curious, the only other Elaine Delon film I remember seeing is Red Sun. Yeah. He's You've seen other stuff, right? Yeah, he's a uh, he's the samurai in Les Samurai. Les samurai. I mean, not the samurai, but he's in Les Samurai, and he's in um another film that has just escaped my brain. I've seen him in a few things. He's a really interesting male actor. Mm -hmm. I I would watch more of his. You, you know how you? I don't usually pick out actors to watch, but Elaine Delon is somebody who like. Well, there's a section for him in Criterion. So. Yeah, I need to. I should probably explore that section. Anyways. <laughs>